So if you've got them, there's no need to throw away old towels. You okay? This is the second time you... Okay. <laughs> Paige is here and she says she has some fun, good uses for old yes, towels. Yes, for old towels. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, if you... A lot of my towels have this. This kind of, like, discoloration going mm -hmm. on. That is it bleach? bleach. Is it not? Yeah. Is it... What is it? What exactly and, but you wash it and nothing comes out. And then it gets a little bit ratty. There's a whole bunch of colors in this. But I say yeah. embrace the colors. Rip it up even more. Cut it up, and you can make new things out of it. Okay. All yes. right. What's like this bath mat, for instance, which yeah. is so awesome. It's like so this cute. bath mat. This is, I mean, if you see these in the bath, home and bath stores, they're so they're expensive. expensive. They really are. I found out why. It takes a long time. <laughs> so what you're saying is they're worth it. it. Well, it's like a rainy day project. If you right. don't have to do anything, it's so easy to do. Mm. It's not hard. It's not crocheting. It's not knitting. It's tying knots. That's how simple it is. It's time consuming. Okay. Yes. Throw on a movie and, and go to town. I got started earlier this morning. I will All show right. you what I made this out of. Okay, so these are my old towels. And then you just cut them pretty small. It was about a quarter of an inch thick. And I used uh, gray and white. I thought I'd... Mix it up a bit. Now, this is a non-slip rug that goes underneath a rug to make sure it stays in place. So all you do is thread it through, tie a knot, cut it, and guess what? You're done with that piece. Do it again only about 3,000 more times, nice. and you are good to go. So you keep doing it over and over again, which I thought this is so easy, especially for yeah. the kids. If you pre-cut them, all you're doing is tying knots. And at the end, you're left with this gorgeous rug that would save you, I mean, at least a hundred bucks. So how yeah. much of the towel did you actually have to use? I, I still have part of the brown or part of the gray and the white so towel. You can make about, another one it was about to. half. And yeah. this stuff that I got from the store, this underlayment, mm -hmm. yeah. this was actually a two by eight sheet. So eight feet. Yeah. So I oh could make goodness. probably at least four to six of it these. It seems like it'd be something that you could, you know, make for like just a little, I don't know, gift for someone in your family or something. Yeah. And yeah. you just do it on rainy days, pull it out. Yeah. So like yeah. For the or holidays something. or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now here, this may sound like a really silly question. Yes. Because these are towels. Yes. But if you wash them, because you know sometimes when you wash your towels, yeah. they can sometimes not be as great as they mm -hmm. were when you first got them, and they yes. look so. You know, this will get will fluffier. This get worse? No, this will get fluffier. But what you want to do is make sure that this back here, this is made out of rubber, and so if you do wash it, wash it on cold, and don't put oh, it in the dryer. I'm going to say, take all the little pieces off. <laughs> <laughs> take all the pieces wash off. them individually <laughs> and put them back. It'll take a tiny little brush. Yeah. No time at all. Yes, it'll be fine. What about the fur boys, girls? Oh, for the fur puppies, um, it was the for girls, yes. Yeah. So I took three towels. This is my old one. It's a Mardi Gras towel, almost. It, it almost. is. Almost. It's so much like your cake. The There's dogs a little baby wanted hiding to in eat there. it. So I just took three separate towels that it, you know they've a little they've seen a little love over the years, yeah. and I've just braided them together. So uh, Debbie, if you could hold that side, okay. I tied it. This is. I mean, if you guys know how to braid, Mark, do you know how to braid? You don't have girls. Yes, of course I know do how to you? braid. Yes. Do you braid Debbie's sure. hair? Probably part of a boy scout thing. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I could probably figure it out. I could probably figure that so out. So all you do is braid it or plait it, as okay. the Australians say, and then tie off. Plait it, mate. Plait it, mate. Uh, tie off one, then you tie off another, and this becomes a chew toy for your puppy. Now, I would say, like, if Can you have a small puppy. we just call him Rover? Just pull. Let's see if we can do it. Good. Uh, Rover. Okay. Uh, Fred All right. Drags Actually, the kids across the floor. Does he with yeah. these things? Oh, yes. how fun! They love it's, doing this. And they're so expensive if you buy them in the store. This I was know. free, but I actually tried it out on my dog Juno and Orly's dog Callie. Your, your, who is, your dog. Yes, is. I'm dog sitting. So this is me this is just cute. pulling it, and, and now Callie's involved. So Juno's on the right. I don't want to say she's winning, but she's winning. Well, uh, she's got a better grip. Wee! Oh okay. goodness, that's so funny. <laughs> and they played for hours. And at the end, um, I do also have video of me chasing my own dog to try to get this back. I'm like, it's for the show. I'll bring it back to you. But this is something so much fun. So much fun yeah. for them. Easy. How much and would so this easy. all cost? Well, the all, I had old towels. So that's the only free. thing I paid was $2.99 for this rubber stick mat. And I could have made another five or six out of them. Wow. 